The other thing housekeeping before we start is uh, if you're following along or, or if you use the command line to use Git, uh, you owe it to yourself to have a, a slightly richer experience on your command line. And um, there's many prompt enhancers, um, shell enhancers around. The one that I have you know, settled for is called the liquid prompt. You can go to pita.do slash liquid slash prompt or just Google for liquid prompt. And um, it's a very useful command line tool that, that annotates the branch that you're in, how many lines of code you've changed from your current repository. And it's just a, a neat way to keep track of what's happening in your current working directory. Okay. I mean, what you see on my screen, these colors are due to this tool. So if you want to have the same command line, you can follow that. And if you want to know my color scheme, is called the solarized. Some, sometimes people ask that. The second thing about housekeeping is a trick. It's the first trick I'm going to teach you today, which is about whenever you initialize an empty repository, you should always create uh, an empty commit with it. And there's a few reasons for it. But let's just jump right in, and I want to show it to you. So let's go to make a new test project. I hope you guys can see. I, I made sure that I cut the screen at the bottom so that also at the back you should be able to see all the commands. Uh, I created a folder called the test project. If I want to initialize an empty uh, repository, I type git init. This is true, initializes an empty repository, but there's nothing in it. And uh, to be able to refer to all the commits in a range or to be able to open a pull request at the start of a project, you need at least one commit. So to create an empty, so what generally do, and what yeah, a lot of you know, my colleagues do, is to uh, create an empty commit, which you do uh, like this. Commit minus am, uh, uh, you can call it you know, initial commit, empty commit. And you just need to remember to add allow empty at the end. So what this will do, I, 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 I missed one closing column, okay. What this will do, will create an empty commit that contains absolutely nothing, but it allows you to refer to the start of the history of your project. If you're like me and like to automate things, uh, you might even have an alias that's called empty. The other thing that we want to do just for the sake of, the, of, the, uh, of this is after you created an empty commit, to just store the unique ID of that commit is not remember it, it's not that useful. So what I generally do, I also create an empty tag. Um, uh, so I want to create a tag initial with the implied uh, message that it's going to be the um, uh, initial <laughs> tag. That is going to be tag, had is going to be tagged and I add a message to it and then if I go do tag minus L, you see that I tagged uh, I tag the projects. I, I'm skipping a bit around. You see that now my initial commit uh, has a tag initial. I'll show you why that shows so nice on my screen in a second. So this is just uh, the very first step whenever you start a new repo. It's useful to have an empty initial commit and it's useful to have a reference to the first commit. That's just the, the, some bit of housekeeping. <coughs> The other thing I want to mention is we're going to look at a lot of commits. So we're going to create some, we're going to uh, modify some. So the command to look at a list of commits in a branch is called git log. Git log has several dozens of, of flags and parameters and it can be used for basically everything. Only, the only thing it doesn't do is your coffee. And so if you have to type those flags all the time, it, get, it becomes laborious. So I have created a couple of, uh, of shortcuts to list commits in a couple of different ways. I want to show you first those a little bit and then um, hopefully it, you'll be okay with me using the shortcut, otherwise I would need to type too much. So let's go to the repository I've created for you. The command I wanted to show you to list uh, um, commits in a compact way is git log. Wait one second, git log. One line says, I would like to see the commits, only one commit per line, that way it's, it's, the view is a bit compact, and I want you to decorate it so that you show me the symbolic refs associated with it. If you do it that way, you can see that this, you just get um, a short ID 
uh, the SHA-1 short end of the commit, you, you see the head, you see the, the branches that are pointed to, to the various commits, and it's, a, it's very readable, it's very useful. You see a lot of information with it. I've shortened this command so, so that I don't have to retype it all the times to git ls, which is compared, yes, yeah, similar. So it has a bit more information about when did I commit this last, who is the author, and you can customize your aliases. You can create aliases in the .git config in the home folder of your, of your system, and you can get um, as fancy as you like with this output. But if you don't want to create aliases, just remember git log dash dash one line dash dash decorate. And the same, same way, if you want to do see a slightly longer view that lists the files that have been changed and in a commit, you can use git log dash dash num stat dash dash decorate. This will show you uh, an extended version, still decorated with the branches that, that git is pointing to, but also show you which files have been touched and with how many lines have been changed. So this is just so that you are not confused when you see me typing um, git ls all the times and git ll all the times. So those you can add um, in your uh, <coughs> alias uh, section in the .git config uh, folder. And I use them all the times. So I recommend you have at least a similar shortcut as you do. This was the housekeeping. Now let's start with some tasks uh, that uh, you know, should teach you a few tricks. Maybe some you already use, but I promise you that by the time we are done, you will probably have seen something that you haven't done yet with Git. And if you have seen everything, why are you here? You'll tell me after. So 